I recently published a video on how you can create a dynamic calendar that looks something like this. But someone inquired, how do you create where you can allocate a blank space between the calendar weeks that looks something like this? Well, this is how you do it. For the very first week of the calendar, you're going to enter this formula, which essentially creates the date timeline for that first week itself. For the first day of the second week, you're going to use this formula here, essentially adding one to the last day of the first week itself. And for the second day of the second week, you're going to use this formula here, which is essentially adding one to the very first day of the second week. Now you're going to copy the formula for the second day of the second week and paste it right across the days for the second week like this. Now copy the formula from week two, paste it to week three, four, five, and six. Next, we're going to allocate a statutory holiday on your calendar. Go to the worksheet where you have your statutory holiday listed. Place your cursor on that table and press Ctrl A to select the statutory holiday table. Let's give this table a name called STAT. Now navigate back to your calendar worksheet and then select the first three weeks on your calendar and press Ctrl G, special, select blank and click on OK. And this is essentially going to select the cells just below the first three weeks on your calendar here. And then after that, paste the formula as shown here and press Ctrl Enter to apply the formula to all the first three weeks. After that, repeat the same steps for the last three weeks on your calendar. Select the last three weeks, Ctrl G, Special, Blank, OK, and paste this formula and press Ctrl Enter. And then you're done.